Nine, it's Friday, so that means Ginny joins us on set with a look at some trending news. You can search in the internet, Ginny. What'd you find? Well, I know sometimes our, I guess our excitement is a high-speed chase in the newsroom. Oh yeah, we're all I about the high-speed chase. Blood pumping, yeah. Well, this one is going to be a little bit different than any other high-speed chase you may have seen before. It's a high-speed turkey chase. Uh, <laughs> he isn't going to end up on a dinner table Ooh. anytime soon for any Thanksgiving dinners. Or she, pardon me, her name is Edna. She has been relocated to the New Hampshire wilderness uh, after causing weeks of disturbance in Massachusetts. Police say that people have been spotting Edna for more than a month calling in concerns that she would cause a traffic accident. They finally caught up to her and cornered her behind a building. Oh, poor Edna. Looked like a roadrunner there for a second, yeah, running right. so sure. fast. Yeah. I didn't know turkeys were so fast. Me neither. Or maybe those <laughs> are just slow places. <laughs> But we'll go with the fast thing. On to the next one. You can put ah. away your shovels and check uh. out this remote-controlled snowblower. Dave Kutron, an engineer at MIT, says he doesn't like being out in the cold, so he built the snowblower last Smart winter. man. The googly eyes are just for fun. He says it took, took him three months to build, and it's purely electrical. There's no engine. Uh, it can drive by itself if you want to, but you can also push it if you I'm going to drive the googly-eyed snowblower there. That makes me much happier than seeing a person push a snowblower. Just saying. If I saw that coming yeah. down my right. street, I'd instantly smile. But a person, not so much. Not so much. <laughs> especially with the snow. Yeah. Then on to the last one here. Breakdancing will become an official Olympic sport in 2024 if the International mm. Olympic Committee backs the inclusion of four sports that have been proposed. Uh, the other events that are being considered for inclusion are surfing, climbing, skateboarding, and they are slated to make their debut in 2020. They say that the format will be a head-to-head -head competition if it does make it through. I think those those activities definitely take uh, strength and talent, and uh, that's not a bad idea. Right, that right. interview we had with those guys here that day, I cannot yeah. do any of that. I heard uh, Ed has a mean windmill and even a worm, a great worm. <laughs> yeah, that has come up, hasn't you it? You have to yes. see that on the weather yeah. board over there. <laughs> Don't break anything, though. That's you right. can break dance, yeah. but just yeah. don't break anything. Break anything, that'll <laughs> be a bone, that's for sure.